Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, please click on like, subscribe, turn on your post notification so you will be notified if I'm posting a new video. Now for today, we're going to discuss genders in Spanish. Now, in Spanish, all nouns should have genders. This is not because it's being girly or it's being manly. No, it's not. It's just that it's how, this is how the language works, that all nouns should have genders. And of course, genders will be masculine. And we have feminine. Okay, our four specific articles that denotes the genders or the nouns in Spanish. So let's start off with the masculine gender. That will be L. This will mean da. Remember on our discussion on pronouns, I told you that the E on L should have guion. This is the reason why. Because if it doesn't have guion, it would mean da, which is the article that you use for your nouns. Now the plural form will be Loss, and then on the feminine we have la, and then the plural form would be last. Now let's give examples on how this works for singular and plural. So let's start off with masculine. So this would be el chico, which means the boy. And then los chicos. Notice that when you use los, which is the plural form for the article, you also make sure that the noun is in plural form. So not only do you use the plural article, but also the plural form of the noun. Let's go to the feminine. So that would be la chica. Las chicas. So this would mean the boy, the boys, the girl, the girls. And then next off, we're going to discuss rules to master how gender works in the Spanish language. So let's go to the rules for the genders in Spanish. The number one rule for living creatures ending in O, they will take the masculine form. Examples. El perro, the male dog. Los perros, the male dogs. El gato, the male cat. Los gatos, the male cats. El tío, that is the uncle. Los tíos, the uncles. Rule number two. For living creatures ending in A, they will take the feminine form. Examples, we have la perra, the female dog, las perras, the female dogs, la gata, the female cat, las gatas, the female cats, la tía, the auntie, las tías, the aunties. Rule number three, when there is a crowd or a group of people, animals, ideas, or things, they will take the masculine form. Let's give examples. Una chico y cinco chicas es seis chicos. In English, one boy plus Five girls equals six guys. Another example. Dos gatos. Ciento gatas es ciento dos gatos. So in English. Two male cats, 100 female cats is 102 cats. That's rule number three. So, if it's crowd or a group of people, animal, things, or ideas, it will take the masculine form. Rule number four. For masculine nouns 
ending in consonants, which means it's non-vowels. The feminine form is ending in A. Examples. El profesor. La profesora. That is the professor. El doctor. La doctora. That is the doctor. El señor. The mister. La señora. The missus. So that is rule number four. Rule number five. We have nouns referring to professions have the same form as the feminine and the masculine. Examples. El piloto. La piloto. El soldado. La soldado. That is the soldier. El poeta. La poeta. That is the poet. El atleta. La atleta, the atit. El psychiatra, la psychiatra, that's the psychiatrist. So these are some examples of professions that have the same form as the feminine and masculine. Rule number six. Nouns ending in sion, sion, tud, dad, umbre will have the female article. Examples. La exposición, that is the exhibition. La habitación, that is the room. La felicidad, that is the happiness. La solicitud, that is the application. La costumbre, that is the custom. Rule number seven. Nouns ending in ma or ma will be masculine. So, examples. El problema. That is the problem. El emblema. That is the emblem. El enigma. That is the mystery. El clima. The climate. El idioma. That is the language. El coma. The coma. Rule number eight. There are exceptions to the rules that I have given you. We have nouns ending in A, but will take the masculine form. Example, el dia, the day, el mapa, the map, el cura, the priest, el planeta, the planet. There are also nouns ending in O that is feminine. Example, la foto, that is the picture, la mano, the hand, la radio, the radio, la moto, the motorcycle. So these are the rules that we have to master genders in Spanish. So, this is it for our episode today. Please don't forget to click on like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified if I'm posting a new video. Adios, amigos. Bye.